All right, today is a sad day. If y'all read the title and the thumbnail, then y'all know what this video is going to be about. I broke my baby. But she's not actually broken. I just got to fix some things or do some things to it. It took me a while. This has been out of order for like, I don't know how long. First, it was something with the trigger. At least I think it was. But then once I fixed that, it was the... Okay, first of all, the trigger it was the disconnector. So, basically, um, I didn't have the disconnector in there. I'm going to put it up on the screen for y'all who don't know what the disconnector is. I'm going to show y'all a picture of the disconnector. Once I finally got the disconnector, basically what it was doing was... And I didn't even shoot it. What I did was I would charge it. Hold on. Okay. I would charge it. Let me make sure it's clear. I would charge it, pull the trigger charge it again and it wouldn't reset how it just reset it like let's see boom i would charge it and you see how it reset it wasn't doing that it was just like this it was just doing that but it's supposed to reset like that it wasn't doing that i didn't know what was wrong with it i figured it had something to do with the trigger i thought i put the wrong part in there because i had a different trigger in here before which was a mistake don't change the trigger. Why would you change the trigger? It's a Geisley. Don't change it. So I went back to the Geisley because I realized I made a huge mistake. And then it was doing that. So I was like, dang, what's wrong with it? I came out here and shot it. It was still messing up. And then I took it apart and realized what I was missing. Put it back in. And start resetting again. Took it out to the range to shoot it. And it wasn't picking up another round still. You good? The nets are attacking me. They're not going to stop. Just don't shake the camera too much. I'm sorry. We'll be done fast. This will be a quick video. Okay. All right. Anyways. um, Yeah. So it still wasn't working. Um, No. I came out here to shoot it and it wasn't picking up another round. So I was like, wow. It's, it's broke. Like I put everything into, in the trigger back together. Took it to the gun store because I finally gave up on working on it myself and becoming a gunsmith. And found out that... This was missing. My gas block screws, my jam nut, and my other screw. So, I ordered the parts. Now, let me show y'all what's going on. All right, put your ears on. I'm about to shoot. All right, and the reason I got these iron sights on is because I forgot my optics at home. Because I had took them off here. Because I wasn't using it because it wasn't working. So, we got iron sights. Oh, that didn't go all the way forward. Let's see if it'll shoot. See? See? It's like a bolt action. I gotta charge it. See? Hammer falling, but it's not picking up the, the next round. I only had three in here. So it's basically a bolt action now. So. <coughs> Y'all ain't see that. But, um. So because it is out of commission today. I thought today would be a good video, I mean, a good day to do this video on the Honey Badger. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and get this out the way. This is just me telling you the downsides. I still have zero regrets of buying this gun. I would never tell you not to buy it. If you can afford it, buy it. Or if you're on a budget, get the Sugar Weasel. I never had the Sugar Weasel, so I'm not speaking from someone who's had it, but... I just feel like Q products are top tier, and I've never heard anything bad about the Sugar Weasel. So, if you can't afford the uh, Honey Badger, definitely get the Sugar Weasel for sure. Even though I haven't has it, ha haven't had it, <laughs> damn. I'm very confident. I stand on telling you to get the Sugar Weasel, and I haven't even had it. That's just how confident I am in this brand right here. So, I'm about to try to fix this one last time, and if this doesn't work, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So. That's just a lesson learned. Don't try to fix something that ain't broken. I tried to put a new trigger in here. Why would I do that? It came with a Geisley trigger. Why would, I, why would I try to change it? It was so stupid. It was a binary trigger that I tried to put in there, by the way. So, we're going to try to fix this. Uh, I'm probably going to put it in wrong because I don't know how to put it in. So, But if I do that, I'll take it to the gun store, get them to put it in, and then I'll come out here, and I'm sure it'll be working. So, before we try to fix it, let's go ahead and get the video out the way. So... 
All right, so first we're gonna do an up close on the uh, gun, and I will put an image of the original one in here because I've changed some things like this. I changed this to a Magpul XL grip, and this doesn't come there. And these Magpul iron sights don't come in there. I already told you why I got those on there. And this right here, that's because I had a sticker on there for the binary trigger. So, but I can still show y'all a little bit of what the Honey Badger looks like. It's the top. I scratched the top up a little bit right there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, let's get into it. Back up. Okay. All right, so one thing I didn't like about the Honey Badger, but it doesn't really matter to me, and I'll tell you why, is the 70-degree safety. I wish it was a lot shorter, and they said they made it like that, if I'm not mistaken, for because it's just safer that way. But this isn't a bad thing, a hundred too bad or really really bad at all. But it's just one thing I dislike about it, and which was different, is because you're gonna get that safety no matter what's to throw on it. You're gonna get that safety off before the rifle comes up with any degree of throw. So it doesn't really matter at all. But I just would have liked for it to be shorter. But like I said, it literally doesn't matter at all. You're always gonna get that safety off before the gun come the gun comes up so that's really not an issue but it's just something i wish i could change but you know i can't all right let's see what's next one thing people say they don't like about it is that it has no forward assist i personally like that it doesn't have a forward assist i don't like the way the forward assist looks I don't really dislike how the Ford is just dis dislike the way it looks, but I just feel like this looks better without it. So I'm actually glad it doesn't have that. Um, another thing is this, the uh, bolt release and catch is only on one side. I wish it was ambidextrous. Uh, I am right-handed, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, I don't really care about it being on that side, but it'd just be cool if it was on that side too. But um what's the next thing i was talking about uh oh i don't know if they make one but i was trying to find a bad lever for this i tried to put a magpul bad lever on there and it wouldn't go on there it just wouldn't fit with the way this is built i wish i could put that on there they probably got one that can fit on there if y'all know any bad levers that can go in the honey badger please drop it in the comments below i really want one for this gun so that's one thing I wish I. That's one thing I dislike. I wish I could put a Magpul bad lever on there, but I can't. So, not that big of a deal. But I actually do really wish I could do that. So that's that's actually one thing I really do wish. I really do dislike about this uh, Honey Badger. It's really not much that I don't like about this gun. I really love it. <laughs> Another thing I dislike about it, but there is a certain reason they do it. I think maybe it's just to uh, save weight or something. I don't know. Just a different design on how they got it. When you take this. When you take this down, you have to like C clamp it and like it's like very difficult to take apart and get together. If you practice it, you'll easily be able to do it. Like I got it down pat now, but I hated learning it. Like when I first got it, I despised taking it apart and putting it back together because it's kind of weird with the way it's set up. Uh, I'll put a clip in there of it showing you what I mean. But the spring is just like very tight up in there. It's just it's just difficult to do. Anybody who got a honey badger already know what I mean by that. So that's that. Now this next one isn't something that really bothers me, but I just you know I like different. It would be different. I think it would be better. On the Noveski Ghetto Blaster, they have the ambidextric charging. What what's the shit called? The damn. I'm having a brain fart right now. Y'all know what the what the fuck this is. Um. Basically, the Veskis is bigger. This one is smaller, probably just to save weight. And I don't need it to be bigger, but it would just would be, you know, easier to... I never had a problem with getting this, so there's no reason for them to make it bigger. But me personally, I don't care about weight savings. Some of y'all may, so this is better for you. But uh, this is smaller. I like the bigger one on the, the Noveski Ghetto Blaster. But like I said, I don't ever have a problem getting to this, so... It's not a problem for me but i would definitely like a bigger one but it's not that deep this works fine okay the brace it is only a two position brace this is the second position 
This is the first position. No in-betweens. Two-position brace. Per personally, damn, I slapped shit out of the mic just now. Personally, I only need those two positions. So, it's not that big of a deal for me, once again. Uh, but, that may be something you not you may not like or others may not like. So, like I said, this video is just a nitpick at the gun. Once again, I said at the beginning of the video, but I don't regret buying this gun. I love this gun. I love everything about this gun. This is just nitpicking and letting y'all know some things that you might not know that may make you change your mind. You're probably not going to change your mind. If you do change your mind, you're probably missing out. Trust me. I fucking love this gun. So, now back to what I was saying before. I got into the bullshit. Um, what was I saying? Oh, two position stock. You might want more. Other guns come with more. But I doubt they are anywhere near as good as this Honey Badger. So, yeah. If you want more than two positions, these two positions might not fit you. You may need something medium. I doubt you need anything longer. Maybe you do. But you might need something in the middle. They don't have that. Two position stock. So, I mean, two position brace. So, and that's with the stock too. So, you may not like that. And that's just how it is. All right. Last but not least, the price. But the price is how it is because, like Kevin says, magic ain't cheap. So, this was a very hard video to do, for one, because I don't dislike this gun. I fucking love this gun. This is probably my favorite gun. So, I just wanted to make this video to put it out there so y'all can see, you know, what you, if the Honey Badger fits you, because a lot of people ask me a lot of questions about this gun. So, basically, I just made this video to see if the gun fits you. For me, it is perfect have no issues personally with the safety have no issues personally with the stock have no issues personally with anything i talked about the charging handle what else i talked about the what else i talked about the thing in the back the brace i already said that have no problems with that have no problems with the safety the price yeah, the price is expensive, but like I said, and like Kevin said, Magic came cheap. Uh, and I wish it came with some iron sights, but I think it just doesn't because, you know, who's going to use those anyway? You're going to buy an optic for this gun. If you're buying a gun like this, you damn sure buying an optic for it. But yeah, so don't let that title and thumbnail fool you. I love this gun. This is my favorite gun. And I have a suppressor on the way for this very soon. Should be getting it next month. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be amazing. Guess down in the comments below what suppressor I bought. And if you get it right, I'll let you know. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm going to shoot it a little bit. And then, well, I'm going to try to fix it. Then I'm going to shoot it. So we'll be right back. All right. Moment of truth, y'all. I put those gas block screws in. Let's see. <laughs> Be careful with me. Be careful. What are you talking about? No okay. oh, shooting my sights. Let's see. Moment of truth. Whoa! It didn't work. It did it. No. What happened? Probably got it wrong. Let's try it again. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the shell didn't come out. It's probably uh, I probably need to uh, loosen it. Test two. Let's try it one more time. All right. Try it one more time. I'm tripping. Moment of truth. There you have it, folks. The Honey Badger is the best PDW the world has ever seen. The MP5 SD. Fuck the MP5. This is the best gun you can ever buy. I love you. Q. Alright, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification. But hit that notification bell. Uh, yeah, this is the best gun I ever purchased. Uh, you never will regret it. If you can't afford it, get the sugar weasel, because ammo and training is way more important. So, 
yeah see y'all next time Whew.